play your favorite PC games on a giant TV screen anywhere. We can keep this one short and sweet. I recently did a video on the Rokid Station. It's a portable, battery-powered Android TV designed to work with Rokid glasses. These are the Rokid Max AR glasses. Now, Rokid is not sponsoring this video. I just thought this was kind of fun to show off. This is Android TV, so obviously the main focus is streaming TV and movies like any Android TV or Chromecast. You can also mirror your phone screen if you're gonna pretend you're trying to get some work done. But for PC gamers, it also means we can use all the same apps we might use on an Android TV, like the Steam Link app. So you install the app on the station and then go through the same pairing process with your PC or your Steam Deck. Those devices will render the game and then stream the video to the station, which will then send the video to your fancy AR glasses. You will need to pair a controller to the station, but like any other Android TV, you can use many popular controllers. Xbox, PlayStation, DualShock, my personal favorite, the SteelSeries Stratus Duo. This is connected to this and you'll use the this to navigate your way through the Steam UI and play your games. Obviously, Steam Link can work through a phone and you can connect that to a controller and get a nice little mobile PC gaming experience. But the beauty of moving it to this combo of station and glasses is now you can game on a big screen projected out in space in front of you. Instead of a dedicated handheld that you stare down at to look at a little screen, you can rival the largest TV in your house and sit in any way you might be most comfortable. Or you could even lie down and project up on the ceiling. Now, like any other Steam Link solution, your experience will depend on a number of factors like latency and data connections. Obviously, this performs better when I'm gaming on my workstation, which has a dedicated ethernet connection to my router than over Wi-Fi with my Steam Deck. But this is funny because I still kind of like the Steam Deck solution too, where I can leave my deck docked and fully charged, but play anywhere I want with my glasses. Then, when I want to take my deck out with me, it's fully charged and ready for more. The station isn't doing much heavy lifting, it's just acting as a pass-through, so you should get decent battery life, at least a good four or five hours of gaming, depending on your network connection and how bright you make the glasses displays. And this isn't just a singular purchase where you have to use the station with the glasses and they only work together like this. The station can also pull double duty. You can use it connected to a TV, just like a regular Chromecast, and then you can pop the cables out, plug it into your glasses, and use it on battery power when you wanna take it on the go. I really like finding these kinds of solutions where we don't need to buy a proprietary thing to do one thing. Moving gameplay off of a computer or console, we don't need to own a tablet that only does the game streaming for that PC or console. The Rokid Max and the Rokid Station can be used for a variety of other situations. Now, I liked how straightforward and familiar the station is for just being an Android TV box that lives in your pocket, but this was a nice little perk for gamers. Even though Android TV seems kind of simple, we can do a few more advanced things with it. Now, I'll leave a link below to my full sponsored video on the Rokid Station using it with the Rokid Max, but I really want to hear from you. Are you moving your PC games off of your PC? What are you using? How are you doing it? Drop some of those comments down below and maybe we can help folks find some really fun ways to make their gaming experience a little more portable. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. All the support lately has been absolutely fantastic. Those of you clicking on links and descriptions and hitting my home site, somegadgetguy.com, or maybe you're joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash some gadget guy. They're basically the coolest tech pals in the universe. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet. I'm basically at some gadget guy everywhere I can lock down that handle. I'm spending most of my time these days posting on the Mastodon, spending a little time sharing some photos on the Flickers, a little less so on the Facebooks and the Twitters and the Instagrams, but I will catch you all on the next video.